Hey, this is Colton, and you're watching Two Geeks, One Hobby. Alright, so yesterday we did the maiden flight of my TLAR drone, and it didn't go so well, and the motor came off. Um, it kept wanting to nosedive, and so I correct it with up pitch, and it was fine as long as you're flying it kind of in a controlled stall. But as soon as you gave it enough power, it would just dive down. And then um, upon further inspection, I realized it was like the leverage effect of this motor being mounted so high up on the pylon, this huge prop, it would just push it down. So I added thrust angle, thrust down angle like this. Still same thing, it didn't do much at all. And um, I figured out what was wrong, and that's what I'm going to share with you all today. Okay, so basically... What I learned is the point of thrust, which is in line with the motor shaft here, the point of thrust needs to go directly to the center of gravity of the plane. The center of gravity of this airplane is directly behind the first step, 40% of the wing cord. So we'll mark that here with the Sharpie. It's about right here, the big black spot. So now we have our wing cord marked, or not our wing cord, our wing center of gravity marked right here. It's at 40% of the cord. So originally when I had this mounted the first time, the motor thrust was going directly to the front, like straight ahead, no down thrust or up thrust or anything. It was just going straight ahead and the plane would want to like pitch down as soon as you gave it throttle and kind of flip because this was like leveraging on the top of the plane. So as I gave it throttle, it would like push from up here and tilt it down. So to try to solve that, um, I didn't really know what was wrong, but I knew that with pushers, you usually have to have a little bit of, um, well, I guess it's up thrust. The thrust goes this way up, and since it's in the back, it kind of forces the nose up a little bit. Um, and that didn't help at all. And what I realized is, if you check the center line of thrust, it goes directly actually it goes almost to the front of the plane it goes all the way to right here where my ruler is sitting so if you follow the line of thrust from the motor shaft down it goes to right about here in the center of my canopy what needs to happen is it needs to the center line of thrust needs to go right to the center of gravity of your plane so that means the motor angle would need to be about like that let's see if it was up this high it would be about like that that is just a ridiculous amount of motor angle. Here, let me get another angle so you can see. So basically, to get the center of thrust where it needs to be with the motor mounted this high, I would have to have the motor, I would have to have the motor mounted at an angle of about like that. And that's just a ridiculous amount of down thrust. It'd be counterproductive because it would actually be pushing the plane itself down and counteracting the lift so it's just really inefficient so what I need to do is actually shorten this boom down because the closer to the center of gravity your motor is the less your center of thrust has to be pointed down because if the motor was down here it only had to be a few degrees down rather than like 30 or 35 degrees down so in order to uh, the props, basically the prop's not going to clear the ground anymore when I get it that low. So I'm not going to be able to do any like skid takeoffs, you know. So I may switch to this smaller prop. It's a 6x4, but it's going to be nowhere near as much power as this 9x5 3 blade. Um, or I'll just lower it enough where two blades can clear and then I just won't do any takeoffs off the ground. And it'll just skid on the prop when it stops. Um... I'll do a video of that real quick and then we'll see what happens. <sighs> Alright, so I redid the motor mount. I just got rid of the pylon completely. And I was actually able to get the motor almost directly, the thrust line almost directly into the CG. So that's about as close as I can get it with this prop without it completely hitting the ground. 
hopefully when it hits the ground it'll just kind of spin now and it'll be fine um, yeah so we'll go fly that and see how it works